Welcome to a new video. And this week has been amazing. We have done a lot of new things, and that is some of the things that we are going to show you in this video. We are Tobias and Ida, and we have just bought ourselves a van that we are converting into the ultimate adventure camper van. Since we live in Norway and it's in the middle of the winter, we have rented parts of a barn where we can do our build. And the first things is the things up here, and that's our new installed fans. Yay! And that Finally. that has been a long story or a yes. little so, bit uh, crooked road. It's been a crooked road. So long story short, we had to order uh, one fan and both adapters from the US and the UK. These fans are actually not the same size. This fan is 14 inch and this is 40 centimeters. And why is this important? It is really important when you choose which one to have in your van. They're exactly the same. So where's the difference? It's all in this little edge right here. This is the bit of a troublemaker. But this fan, it doesn't have that edge. So you need a smaller hole when you're installing it. This only needs a 35 centimeter hole, but in order to fit this rim here, you need a 40 centimeter hole. If you have a van that has a smaller space in between the beams in the back, for example, like our Ford Transit, this smaller version could be for you. You can't cut in the beams up here. It basically took forever because of Corona, and when it finally got here, it was about minus 20 Celsius degrees, which basically means that there is no sealant out there on the market that- Or, or adhesive. Or adhesive that takes that kind of temperature. So we had to wait. And that's why we did the fans in a little bit, uh, very late in the build and a little bit strange uh, order. Yeah. But now the weather has changed and we have sun and 10 degrees plus. So it's crazy how the temperature has just changed in, in some, um, some short weeks. And it's the end of February and it's already spring, so it's very crazy weather. But the fans are in and it looks really good and we've already taken them out on a test drive and they are safely Secure. secured on the roof. The problem was if, because we didn't have the, the adapters, we didn't really know how or exactly where the hole should be located. We had a bigger hole in the spray foam so we had kind of prepared that we could find where it would uh, be. So it was a little bit exciting because I was up on the roof and Ida was in the van and uh, I had an adapter and uh, we were shouting to each other and measuring and measuring and finally we thought okay here's the, the place to be so I started to drill and luckily uh, we didn't hit anything and we actually uh, it was just perfect so I drilled a hole in every four corners and then I started jigsawing and that went mostly smoothly. Some small hiccups on the way, but uh, no biggies. Uh, when the hole was uh, cut, we um, scraped down or uh, yeah, we smoothed like out uh, the cut. And, and, and we also primed the rim. So it was uh, nice and um, paired for no rust. And that was uh, day one more or less. Yeah. And uh, day two, then was the, the whole day of getting everything together. So we had a lot of layers. Between the adapter and the base of the fan, we are going to put on some uh, tube tape. And this adapter is going to be glued with this adhesive directly to the outside of the van or to the roof. And here's our aluminium uh, pieces that we made yesterday. And they are going on top of here. So you have this kind of three layer pancake. Um, we made this, if you could film up, these uh, wooden frames. Uh, so we actually have a lot of things to, to screw onto. So I think that's nice. I've seen a lot of people just screw it through the metal and that's good enough. So I guess that's good enough, but I think the merry have is the better. The included screws, they are quite short. So we bought some longer ones. And these ones are made for metal, uh, just to be screwed in, in metal. And they are industry spec, able to withdraw salt and stuff. So I think this is good. And they are not self-tapping. So we have some self-tapping screws as well that we have been using before in the van. But they are not this like heavily graded. So I think I will go uh, for this, but we think it's better to not, not have any rust. So okay, let's get started. 
Luni <risa> Ya, yeah, mi sirena Hace como un par de años que pasó lo impredecible Te fuiste por un futuro y el pasado se quedó Después de un par de meses no sabía cómo... Quite, quite well. Yeah. So that was more or less day two? Yeah. And day three? Oh, uh, yes, day three we used the roof. Sealant. We used the sealant. Yes. Day three was all about the sealant. We are getting ready to seal and make sure that the fan bases are watertight proof. Yeah. So we're going to use this roof from Tech 7. We're using that because we can't really use like the normal sealants that are used because it's simply so cold. So this has a working temperature to minus 10 degrees and we are about like two, three degrees now and it's going to be about three degrees during the night, Celsius that is. So hopefully uh, this is good to work with, we don't really know, just fingers crossed. And also Since I don't want to climb up on the roof, I'm a little scared of heights. I'm gonna stick my head through the fan holes, see if it works. It ended up pretty well, and it's now it's dried and it looks very, very promising. And voila, the Max fans is attached to our ceiling, not our floor. <laughs> We haven't tried it in rain yet. But it looks uh, looks very well. It looks really good. The only thing is that it's black. Yeah. And we have a, now we have a white van, but yeah. somebody wants to uh, spray paint the old van, so maybe we'll fix that anyway someday. Yeah. So that was the fans. That was the fans, but then we actually put the fans down. Yeah, we put the fans down as well. And that, yeah. it look, on YouTube that looks like a walk in the park, but it wasn't. No, we actually had to, uh, one, there were two people on the, on the roof. One pushing the, the fan down and the one on trying to, to get in the screw. So yeah. it was a bit of a struggle. So that was a bit of a struggle, yeah. yeah. But we have done more, yeah, we have, um, we have uh, put out a um, temporary wall here for yes. the bathroom, so it doesn't look that bad. Yeah. And we also have painted everything with an extra coat, yeah. so the windows are painted now as well, so everything is, is white and nice. Uh, so that is something we have done this week. Yes. And we have also fixed uh, the wheelhouses, so, they, yes. uh, so we started with uh, nice. cutting the rubber floor mm -hmm. and, uh, and gluing it down, down to the um, to the wheelhouses as well and then we attach a uh, metallic uh, edge to, to protect the, the edge so uh, cut to perfection and I also install a metallic uh, edge back in the... It's actually uh, titanium colored or is it titanium? Maybe it's titanium. I yeah. think it's Yeah, yeah, it's it's very nice at least. Super fancy. So that's uh, the back of the garage. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's get... starting to get together. Yeah, it looks really nice. And if you guys want to continue to uh, watch our journey, I can give you a little teaser because in the next episode, I I um, bet you that you will see the ceiling installed. Yeah. We will see some uh, some downlights. We also are going to IKEA and to fetch and build our kitchen. So that's uh, going down here, and I hopefully we will put in the uh, the floor as well. Uh, the plan was to just do the floor where it's just floor, so we could change it afterwards. So don't put it under cabinets and so on, so on, so on. But we really want to go out and skiing and use the van, and we don't have still don't have the back seats, and we don't have started on the bathroom. So the plan now is actually to just lay the floor on the the whole front part of the van and we will fix that afterwards. So yeah, I think that's a good middle solution. It's a compromise, yeah. Yeah. So I think that was everything for this video. Yes. You want to add something? Yes, what about bed? 
Oh, we have installed the bed that's, as well. That's a huge thing. You can't see it, but it's here. It's you can true. see the, um, the hinges. So yeah, the hinges are up and we uh, actually tried it out and it uh, works very well. But yes. it took it down because it's much easier to work when you don't have the bed. Yeah. And also, uh, basically how we did it is that we got some beams from Ikea. And uh, got... Ikea. Ikea again, yay! So it's a bit of an Ikea hack. So we got the beams from Ikea and then we got some small hinges as well from Ikea that goes with the beams and just basically screwed them into the ply on the sides which we swapped to half inch ply. Yeah. So that's 12 centimeter for all those Ukrainians, nope. isn't it? It's 10? It's 12 millimeter. It's 12 millimeter. <laughs> Sorry about that. Little... Half inch, 12 millimeter. Yes, 12 millimeter, so it's pretty strong and sturdy. Yeah, so it's worked like a giant stud or something like that. Mm. So it uh, seems to work very well. So that's something we got recommended on Instagram. And I think that's a good solution. You don't, then you don't need any legs for the bed or anything. Yeah. So it just looks a little bit really cleaner smart. and you have more space. Cool. All right. So with that... We really hope you enjoyed this uh, video, this update. And if you want to follow our journey, then hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you like the video. It would help us a lot. So with that, thank you and goodbye. Bye-bye.